어. 헤이 가이즈 하우 아이 두잉 투데이 Um, so today I am going to bring you guys part one of my entire book collection. I know you guys have been asking me for that for a while now. Um, I am standing up because it's just easier for me. I have all my books piled up beside me. Uh, I don't know how many um, parts this is actually going to be. So I started off with uh, one shelf of my books. And um, I figured if I just do it by shelves, then maybe we should only have... three maybe four parts of it um we'll see but what i'm going to do is i am going to down in the description i'm going to leave a link for every book that i show just in case if it's one of those off the wall ones that you guys don't know where i got it from you guys can go check it out um legally i have to say that i am an amazon affiliate for both the u.s and the uk uh And so any purchases that you made using any links down below, I do get a very, very small commission off of. Um, and all that goes right back into the channel to help me out to get more content to show you guys. If not, that's cool too because we're just going to sit here and color then. You guys know it doesn't matter. Um, everybody has a freedom to pick whatever they want. But uh, number two is... If at any time I show a book that you haven't seen or that you've seen but you haven't seen a flip through of um, and you want me to do a flip through of it, leave it down in the comments, send me a message, something, I'll write it down and I will put that on my to-do list and get that to you guys as quickly as possible. So with that being said, let's start. So the first books I'm going to show you are my Emily Lindenhall Oberg books. I have both the... You guys, I always mess this name up. Uh, the Sager Ak Sagner book. Um, beautiful book. So far, I've only colored one picture in here. Um, this one. It's the only picture that I've colored so far. Beautiful book. Beautiful paper. I really love her artwork. Um, and then I have her second book, which is Fairy Tales, that I really like. Um, same kind of style. Um, but this one is uh, paperback, and this one is hardback so that is it from miss emily oberg after that we're going to go on to the books that uh i'm doing my projects on because well they're handy i always have them near me so i can refer back to them but it is these books the lovely hannah carl's on so i do have two of her postcard size books i have summer nights and i have daydreams um and This one was Happy Mail, and it's so cute. I love it. I can't wait to get in here and color in those. And then I do have Daydreams. Um, same thing. It's a lot of the pictures that are just shrunk down into little or manageable sizes. Great to take with me whenever I'm going to doctor appointments or going, um, you know, take my kids somewhere. I know I'm going to be sitting around for a while. That's why I like those little books. So, of course... You guys are probably all familiar with her books. So I have Daydream. And yes, I still have all my posties on there. You guys will see that most of my books have some kind of tabs or paper sticking out of them. And that's just projects I'm either working on, going to work on, or have already finished. Um, so I have Daydreams. The Wonderful Magical Dawn. Summer Nights. Jewelry Box. Seasons. And character. Now, my character did come in with a little cover flaw. I wasn't too worried about it. Um, and for those of you who don't know, uh, I have the Dutch edition. It's called Tidevar, maybe? Or something like that. Um, but it has 15 of her designs that come from her other books. Uh, they're all portraits. And then it has five new designs in it that aren't in her other books. So it's a really pretty book. I like the portrait styles. I like that they're a bigger scale um, compared to her other books, as you can see here. They are the same width, but height-wise, they are different. So that is my Hannah Carlson collection thus far. I still want to um, get all the postcard size books because I love these for travel. You guys have no idea how much I always take my coloring stuff with me. I got some great happy mail today that I'm not going to show you yet um, that goes along with me always being on the go. You know, with a whole bunch of 
boys, I'm always on the go. So next is my Joseph Cattenbang, the mythographic. We'll go this one first because this is his first one. I have the mythographic animals, and I am still... Me and this book have a love-hate relationship. I love the artwork in it. Um, this book hates when I color it because I just massively mess up every single time. Um, I've done two-ish pages in here. One's not finished. The other one I did with Belinda over on her stream as a, as a challenge. And then his second one is Mythographic Imagine. And I did start a page in here that I have not completed yet. That's this girl. That I am... Uh, I started on live streams that I have not finished yet. So that it always stays over my whip section of my art room here. Um, I do plan on finishing that sometime in the future. I really enjoy this book a lot more than the animals book. But again, that's just personal preference. So that, there is him. Oh, I almost put this book away and I didn't want to. Right there. So then my next books are my Mystic Art Mirror books. And I have, dun, 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 I have all three of hers, theirs, hers. Um, I have all three of hers. This was the first one that came out, The Mermaids and Friends. Um, and I'm sure you guys have all seen this book all over YouTube. This is a popular, popular book. Everybody's loving the new style of art, um, me included. Then this is her second one, this Tucker de Mir. Um, I think it's like Mermaids and Friends or Mermaids, something like that. Um, another super cute book. Same style. Just, you know, a little bit different. Or no, not they're not all mermaids. I take that back. They're not. They're all like fantasy. Don't listen to me. I have no idea. All I know is I like the artwork. And then we got the Fairy Tale Princess coloring book that I really, really like. Pages, you know, like this, though. Wherever it just went to. Um, like, pages like this. Like, these are the pages that I do on my own time where I can go super slow and get the effects that I want. Um, where some of the bigger ones that don't have a lot of detail, I don't mind doing on stream. But those are my three from them. So then my next ones... Are my Maria Trolle books. Um, so I have Nightfall, which I really like Nightfall. I've um, done a couple of things in here, just on and end kind of things. Um, then we have Twilight Garden, which is another gorgeous book. This is a book that I've been playing with. Um, different kind of techniques that I told. See, I told you guys, I totally mess up sometimes. And that's my practice page, and that's okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, just certain, you know, things in here that I like playing with, trying out. I really like her books. I really like her paper. And then, of course, the last addition to my Maria Trolle family is Flora. That was sent to me by a wonderful, wonderful friend. And, um, you guys know that I started coloring in this in my last live stream. I'm still working on it. Ooh. And that's as far as I got. It's a slow process. I'm trying to take my time with it. I'm trying to make it look how I want it to look. I work on, you know, if I come in here, I'll work on a flower or something that I'll go do the rest of my mom slash wife duties. So that's a whip. That's going to go over here. All right. So the next up, of course, is the lovely Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Um, this is a fantasy art adventure. And I've only done a few pictures in here. Um, this is a book that I practice skin tones in. Um, I do different things in here just to try them out. Same thing with my Mermaids book. I do have two of the Mermaids books. One of them is Untouched because the Mermaids one is the one that I really um, practice on. I did finish a full picture in here. But otherwise, this is my... 100% practice book of skin tones, um, different techniques. You know, this was acrylic with some glow around her. Um, she's still a work in progress, but this is my playbook. And then, of course, the last but not least is her Halloween book. Now, this book is untouched. Um, and uh, I really want to get in here and color these because you guys know that I like Halloween. I like anything horror-y. 
Um, I just haven't got around to doing it yet. So this is on my color your hoard list that lasts for the whole year. I'm hoping to get a lot of those done. Hoping, hoping, hoping. Okay, so that brings us to the beautiful Clara Markova. And I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to say it goes like this. So, of course, we have Tenderful Enchantments. Um, this was my first book that I got by her. And I was really, really nervous to color it. I did this using Black Widows. And I was like, oh, that didn't turn out too bad. You know, I kind of like this. And then I got my polys. So, I did this. And, of course, you know, I'm not very blended there because I did not know how to use those monsters. I'm getting better. But otherwise, that's about, oh, and I started this page. I started this, I think, on my first live stream, and I never came back to finish it. I want to come in. I want to darken up the house a little bit, um, and then I want to finish that. So that is a work in progress, but I don't know if you guys can see, but it is very sparkly. I sparkled the outside of all of those pretty red flowers. So, yes, that one is definitely on my um, in my whip pile. So then we have Magical Delights. Um, and I always keep my bookmarks in here. I am gonna, going to color them one day, just not anytime soon. I should put those in my little bag, uh, my, my go bag, my go coloring bag. So in this book, I don't think I've actually colored anything in this book. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Because I normally start off with like this page. But yeah, so I haven't even touched this book yet. This is one that I need to work on. So, color your hoard list. And then, of course, the beautiful Fairy Miracles that we were all so excited about when it came out. Um, again, I keep all of my stuff in the in the front. Like, I, um, I treasure everything, you guys. You guys have no idea. Like, when it comes to hoarding, I seriously hoard everything or find a use for everything. Um, but I really, I haven't really colored much in this book. Um, this is the page that I started with Carolyn. Uh, she had video chatted me one day and wanted to learn how to do skin tone. So this was the picture that she did. So I pulled out my book. I did the skin tone real quick on screen with her. Um, so she can follow exactly what I was doing just to give her a basic skin tone. So at least that part's done for when I come back to play in this book. Otherwise, oh, and I did this page. And I drew in the little sign. The little sign is all sparkly. Um, oh, and I'm losing my innies. Um, but yeah, that's all that I've done in this book. All right. So, and the reason why I am making this into a few different parts is because I don't want to go too long and bore you guys. So the next books are my Calm Water books. Um... You guys have probably seen this one. This one's been getting a lot of attention lately. I know May over on her stream have been doing has been doing it. Um, I think Grace said that she has this book and that she really likes it. But this book's been getting a lot of attention, and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous book. I am still working on this picture. I have to finish this picture up. This is for a beautiful friend of mine um, that I I am doing all in Neo twos. I just haven't got around to finish it yet. So another one in my whip pile. And I don't know if anybody's keeping track, but I never counted my books. Like, actually counted my books. So, if anybody's keeping track, I'd like to know the number. So, then we have the next Calm Waters book, which is Immerse Yourself in a World of Originality. And I show this book because I wanted to show you guys how I overcome fear. Uh, or the fear of fur. Because, as most of you know, I don't color fur. It just, I don't know. I tried. I tried, and I failed miserably, and I'm still practicing. But until then... I have books like this where I really don't have to color fur because, you know, it's a whole animal filled, like there's this beautiful skunk, you know, filled with roses and fruit and some little pastries and, you know, other things that I can just color the whole inside and not have to worry so much about the fur. But yeah, super cute book. This one I'd like to color for my beautiful, beautiful friend, Beth. Uh, she's on this sloth thing. She loves sloths. So... Maybe I'll color that one for her and send it to her. But yeah, super cute book. Love these books. Love the paper in them. The paper quality is really nice. Okay, so the beautiful Gugeli. Um, another book that I have not started in yet. 
uh, but gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. Love the paper. Can't wait to get in here with like some watercolor or ink tents because I think this paper, by feeling it, will really hold up to it. I know that it is, uh, it is double sided, but I think that it'll work out. But yes, gorgeous book. Again, all of my innies. Then we have um, Nick Filbert. Well, actually his name is just a really long name, but you know, if anybody knows, most people just say Nick Filbert. So we have his books. I have the beautiful Irene. Um, that the artwork is stunning. I mean, it is gorgeous. I love it. Another one that just, I really want to do this page. Um, but I'm really, I don't know. There are some books that still, and I know that I preach, don't be scared. It's just ink and paper and everything else. But there are some books that I just appreciate the art so much that I have a hard time coloring them for fear that I'm going to mess up. And I know I shouldn't be like that, but I am. Um, and then the gorgeous Serene that I'm sure that everybody has seen in one form or another. Um, love, love these books. One day I'll own a second copy of this, and when I do, I'm going to go hog wild. Okay, so there are those two. Okay, next up is we got some Thomas Kincaid Disney books. So I have the Dreams Collection, the Disney Dreams Collection. Um, and, you know, it's a smaller one with so your colored picture on the one side and your line art picture on the other with all these small details. But after I did, because I do have the ink house, after I did the small details on that front little pendant page, I was like, okay, I can tackle this now. Like, there, it's, that's nothing. So, super excited about that. And then I have uh, the Disney Princess coloring book. It only has 16 pages in here, but they're poster size. And I really like this book. It's the same kind of principle, um, but you get a big landscape portrait of each one. And then in the back is where you get your thumbnails of the colored versions. So if you wanted a photo reference or a color reference, you can always refer back to it. Or just be who you are and do it the way that you want to do it. If you want your water pink and purple, do it. Do it, do it. Okay, so next up after that is the beautiful Anastasia Coldariva. And we all know the gorgeous Mysteria and the beautiful portraits in here. And you guys know I do faces. I'm scared, but I'm going to. Like this is on my um, to-do list in the very near future. I really like this page here. Um, but yes, yeah, so there's Mysteria, and of course, I had to have Nocturnes too. And uh, I really like the vibe of both of them, but Nocturnes, for some reason, I like the, the Luna Moths a lot. I like the bath. I like the more, like, I, I can see her being this, like, gothic babe. So, yeah, love it, love it, love it. And then, of course, her little note to me. Beautiful, beautiful books. Alright, so... Dun, 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 next on the list. We're almost done with this uh, segment, you guys. I promise. So, of course, I could not leave out the beautiful Carolina Kupikowska. Um, anybody that has come to my channel knows that she is one of my favorite artists. I like her style. I like the darkness that some of her images have. Uh, the style of art that she draws, that sketchy kind of raw feeling, um, I really like. So here is this one that I cannot pronounce, the Poe Druig Stroni Snoo. Yeah, I know I butchered that. Um, I have colored a few pictures in here. Like I've colored this double page. And then the only problem is this book is falling apart on me a little bit. I have to keep putting the pages back in there. And then I finished this. If you guys have been around, you guys know that I love some roses and uh yeah so those are the two that i finished in this book now her other two books i have not um i haven't even colored in yet but i need to 
her art is one of those. At least I just don't think I did. I think I might have started one. No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, her art art is one that I really, it's not a fear thing with her art. It's an appreciation thing where I like to sit down. I like to take my time. I like to make it look like I see it in my head. Or if it's not the way that I see it in my head, to make it look um, accomplished. Like I accomplished something that I wanted to do. So we have the beautiful Ticket to Dreams. Um, which again has just some weird images in it. Um, but like I s said before, is her artwork, I just appreciate it, and I like her style. There's something about it that just draws me to her and her books. So, yeah, that is Ticket to Dreams. And then the newest book, but I know she's coming out with another one. I just seen it on Etsy. So excited. I cannot wait. Um, is Imaginary Friends. And this is a bigger book compared to the other two. It's like, you know, it's like you got the mama... Or you got the daddy, the mama, and the baby with book sizes. So this book, and these do come spiral bound. When you buy them, they come spiral bound, which is a good thing. And the paper is great. Um, this one is taller. I have not colored in this one either. As you can see, I have pages marked that I want to start in the very near future. Um, but another gorgeous book with gorgeous artwork. Um, the Imaginary Friends seems more on the gray side than on the blacker side, like Ticket to Dreams and the other one is. Like, even the black here isn't as black as it is in the other books. I like both styles. It doesn't bother me because I found, you guys know that I'm a pencil person. And I found even my pencil goes great over those really dark areas and you can still see color come through. So, there are those. Those are my Pride and Joys. I have those those book those certain books that when my kids come in it's like oh mommy can I call I'm like no nope you can't touch those sorry okay so next up and you guys please forgive my ignorance I think yeah, I think I think I think these might be in the right ish order I don't know we'll see so the last ones that I'm gonna do right for this segment is my Kirby Roseanne's collection. Um, I did get the Kirby notebook that I absolutely love because um, it has some of his little doodle work and his little artwork in a notebook style um, where you can color, you can write if you want to. So yes, I love, love, love the Anamorphia notebook. I wish that his other books came in notebooks too because sign me up, baby. I am all in. Okay. So, um, I do want to get some of his postcard books. I know that Anamorphia, he makes postcard book. Um, I also want to get his poster books. It's a work in progress. Work in progress. Okay. So, of course, the beautiful Anamorphia. That, uh, it has animals in it, so I really haven't touched it. I got some great paper piecing ideas that I want to do for some of the pages. Um, but we got Anamorphia. And then Mythomorphia, and I don't know if that's in the right order. It might not be. It probably isn't. I did this page in here that I really liked. I loved doing that one. That was my first, like, uh, advanced page, I guess you could say. And then we have the um, Imagimorphia. Now, I do have two copies of these. I started a picture, and I think it was in the other book um, that's in my whip section and not in this one. But if you guys all remember, yeah, if you guys all remember on live stream, I started the elephant with the mechanics. Um, so I still am working on him with my gold, my bronzes, and my silvers. I got Phantomorphia. And in Phantomorphia, I started a page. This is when I first started coloring. I started this page, and um, I didn't really know what I was doing, but I was doing what I wanted to do, and I was having fun and trying things out. I have to come back. I want to finish up this butterfly, throw in a background, um, maybe sparkle it up a little bit. Who knows? But, yeah, so this is the only one that I've touched in this book. And then we got Geomorphia, another one that is naked. Oh, no, it's not naked. I did this picture for Blaze. Uh, started this on live stream. I did this with some Paul Rubin shimmer paint. Um, then went through it with some colored pencil. 
and then I added little rhinestones to all the eyes up here. And this was a color scheme. Oh, and this was acrylic paint. This was a color scheme that Blaze picked out. And I was just going off of his colors to make this happen. Um, but yes. So there is that one. And then, of course, the latest is color Morphia, which I have not colored in yet. Um, really excited about his world within worlds. Like, I really wanted to tackle that one again to see if I can... Um, make it look a little bit different but world within worlds so excited huge Kirby fan here I know a lot of people don't like the doodles uh, I'd like to take my time coloring I like the process of it I like to slow down sometimes we're always so busy in life that the doodles and everything like that little tinier details uh, they uh, appeal to me so for today Ladies and gents, that is all that I have. I will have part two coming very soon. Um, just got to reorganize, got to put these books back on the shelf, pull the next ones out, make a list of what I'm going to show. You know, the whole kit and caboodle. So yeah, guys, I'm thinking three, maybe four parts. I um, Right now, I'm not planning on showing my PDFs. I might pull the ones that I've already printed off. Like when I first started coloring, I printed off my PDFs by the book. Not by the page, by the book. Um, I do have a whole file drawer full of those. I might pull out and show you guys. But I now have gotten a little bit smarter, a little bit more frugal. And um, I just store them on my computer and pull off a page here and there when I need it. But, all right, guys. Thank you for watching. Love you all. I hope you all have a great day, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is. Um, in your neck of the woods, and I will see you with part two real soon. Love you guys. Uh.